Hi folks, how you all doing? Welcome to Lawrence Can Draw and today I want to talk to you about custom brushes. I got into a conversation at Vertex and yeah, so something came up which was quite weird to me. I got talking to a bunch of third year digital artist students and it occurred to me that they didn't know how to use blender brushes properly which I thought was a little strange. Now I got into digital art back when digital art wasn't really uh, wasn't really commonplace. I went to art college back in the 90s when f even Photoshop was still in its kind of beginning stages and yeah the art tutors didn't really even understand it you know Photoshop for dummies was still you know uh, on book version number one you know and yeah the tutors themselves were like we don't really know how to use it just open it up have fun and experiment so the blender brush didn't exist obviously <sighs> nobody's ever shown me how to use it I've never watched a video on, on how to use it when it finally turned up um, it's relatively new to Photoshop obviously it appeared first and foremost in applications like Corel Painter I am a Corel Painter Master Elite there's uh, quite a few Painter Masters out there for Corel but there's only about 10 of us who are paint master elites in the world. So, you know, take my advice quite seriously. Now, yeah, so the Blender brush is in a few different apps now, and it's also in Photoshop. But a few of the students that I spoke to had no idea how to use it really. Um, when I used it on stage, they, you know, a couple of them came up to me afterwards and asked for advice. So I thought I may, will make a video on this, and I will, I will make a video on this showing how to use it properly. But it got me thinking about a topic, and I thought I'd make a quick video on this now, which is about custom brushes. Now, there are a lot of YouTubers out there who make videos all the time about custom brushes. I won't mention the name of one, but there's one video in particular who I used to do a lot of hangout videos with. Don't make hangout videos with them anymore who um, yeah who basically sells um, custom brushes all the time there's a very very good artist like Aaron Blaze who makes and sells custom brushes um, very good ones there's a lot of artists who make and sell and give away great custom brushes I'm a big fan um, of brushes and custom brushes, brushes you can make yourself, uh, all of that, yeah. I've even done a few videos on custom brushes. Uh, there's even a couple of videos where I've given away custom brushes, which those videos are still up, and I've left the brushes on my Dropbox so you can go and get them. They're still there. Now, I, I haven't had a problem with custom brushes in the past, but... I've been using them less and less and less. Reason being is because I really don't think that custom brushes are great. I think it's a way to ruin your art. And if you've seen any of my recent artwork from the last year or so, probably the last two years, you'll notice that I don't really use custom brushes that much. And less and less and less. Reason being, I think it makes your art look very, very cheap. Now, I'm going to make a very distinct line in the sand here. There's a difference between using custom brushes that you've created and a custom brush that somebody else has created. Why? Because if you use a custom brush that somebody else has created, especially somebody like a YouTuber, um, then there's you know a thousand other people who are using that brush as well so your art is going to start emulating and mimicking that artist and the other artists out there like you that are using that brush as well so if you are going to use custom brushes then create them yourself which is why I don't feel so guilty about doing the tutorials where I've created them because at least you can follow them along and make variations of those brushes. I did think about taking my videos down 
about that. But then I realised, yeah, you can make those brushes yourself. So don't buy people's brushes. I think that's the best way to put it. And that might make a few people angry but for me to say that. But I really think that's the best way forwards. Now, I'm just using, for the most case, um, Corel Painter's standard brush and the blender brushes. Photoshop's standard round brush and the blender brush. That is enough to get me by for my digital paintings. And you've seen my work, it's incredibly detailed. My YouTube work is a lot less detailed. But if you go and have a look at my portfolio and Lawrence Can Draw, it's incredibly detailed. And my more recent work is even more detailed. And that's just done with the standard brush. I might dip in now and again and get um, kind of an effects brush. But it isn't one of the crazy kind of um, custom style uh, built-in brushes. You know? So, yeah. I, I think custom brushes a really bad idea especially especially if you're getting them from another artist because there will be a whole host of other people getting them as well let me know what you think in the comments below do you think custom brushes are a good thing or a bad thing I think artists who rely on them heavily as well and I do see artwork and I, I look at it and I think you've relied on that far too heavily and to me it's a lot like artists who create work from mashups of photographs, it has that same feeling and effect for me. I look at that kind of artwork, and I look at artwork with heavily used custom brushes, and I, I just get this kind of mashup feeling, where to me it's not real illustration. I mo might be overly critical here, but to me, yeah, I look at that kind of stuff, and I just think, no. It just doesn't work for me as um, a critique of somebody else's artwork. You know, recently I've been giving people a lot of feedback on their artwork and it's one thing that's cropped up again and again and again. Don't use custom brushes, it cheapens your art. Now it might take you a lot longer to draw in, you know, skin detail, to draw in all those wrinkles and lines, um, the pores in the skin, but for me that's where you get your joy of illustration. You know, that's what will make that character really come to life. Uh, I think that's important. If you get a, a brush that just does that, then those lines don't line up with your character's face, for example. So, yeah, um, you might have seen a tweet recently or an Instagram post that I did where I was painting Theresa May, our beloved Prime Minister. Um, I don't do political commentary, so I won't say anything more about that. But yes, you, you might have seen where I altered the standard Photoshop brush. It wasn't a custom brush-ish, but I altered the standard brush by a few settings. I didn't even save that brush. So I don't feel guilty about saying it wasn't a custom brush, even though it kind of was. But I ordered the brush just to kind of make it um, a texture brush in a way. And that worked. And that's fine. But you will never see that again in my work because I didn't save the brush. So it kind of was a custom brush, kind of wasn't a custom brush. Um, and I, I drew that on and then the brush was just gone. So kind of on the edge there. And it worked. So I think that's allowable. Because you will just never see that, that reappear. Go and check out my Instagram to see that. And I think that might be okay. That's the kind of line that I think I'm living on. And that's okay. But that's because it's a kind of a fabric texture. So you want that repeatability in there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Right, that's a long enough video. That's nine minutes now. So yeah, crack him. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think it's okay to buy custom brushes? Do you love custom brushes? You've just heard my thoughts. You know I don't. <sighs> right now, there's a lot of things I don't love. 
I, I don't want to be a moaner, though. I don't want to be, you know, somebody who whinges a lot. But I think in order to have many, many things you love about this industry, many things you love about digital art, to get what you love, to get the art as precise and refined as you love it, then you have to whinge about some things. You have to be very defined about the area you want to work in. I love the the very specific basic brush set that you get in Corel Painter and in Photoshop and in Sketchable. I love those basic brushes. I think you can do an amazing amount of refined detail work in those brushes without going and using custom brushes. Uh, and, and that's it. I think if you rely on custom brushes, especially custom brushes that other artists have made, then you're cheating yourself out of becoming a better artist. And I think since I've stopped using custom brushes, I've really become a better artist. Especially my detail work has gone up in quality. Leave it there, folks. Have a great day. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Tweet me on this subject. You know, and yeah. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you all later.